Hey guys, I'm Deb Rayleigh with the Social Tech Team, and in this training video, I'm going to show you how to use a website that will add a customized auto signature to your emails. Best part, we're going to be using the free version. Of course, there's also a paid up version, but for this video, we're just going to go totally free. And this one is using Wise Stamp. So let's get started. Okay, the website that we're going to go to is right up here at the top, webapp.wisestamp.com. And when you get on here, if you don't already have an account set up, you're going to create an account. And we're just creating the free professional email signature. You can get an idea right here of how they might look. So use your name, business email address, and create your password. And let's get our account created. Your next step is to identify what type of business you offer. So you can either click on these. Um, and it will op give you also some options here under the drop down menu. So find the one that works best for you and it takes you to the next screen. All right, so you can see that we have some standard form formats down here and then you have these pro versions. So anywhere it says pro, then those will be um, versions where you need to have the upgraded account. So pay attention to that because remember, we're trying to use the free version. This uh, box here on the right, it will show you a little um, kind of as you go along template of what your auto signature is starting to look like. So right here on the left in the details column, this is where we fill in the details of what we want our auto signature to look like and you'll see how it populates here. So let me go through and just update some of these and you'll add, you can either add a photo um, like a headshot, which would be great um, or if you're in business for yourself or if you have a recognizable logo, this is where you would add this. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so we've got the basic information here and I've uploaded an image. You can see if you wanted to, um, let me move this over just a little bit. You can see you can add some, click add more, do custom titles and things like that if you want to. Now we're going to go across the top here and click on social. And this is where we would add our social sites. So anything that you have a social site connected to, you'll want to um, put that information in there. And of course, look, they have all these additional ones, so you can always swap some of these out. So if you happen to have, say, for example, Pinterest, and you want to include that up there, you can and remove something else. You don't have to use all of these, so whatever you're not using, be sure that you remove them. So let me update that information. Okay, we have our social sites on here. Uh, you might notice that it says Christmasize my signature. Um, and if I turn that on, you'll see how it turns all of my icons into Christmas trees. But since the holidays are over, I'm gonna turn that off and go back to my regular circles. So if someone were to click on these, it would take them to those social sites directly. So that's our first step. So you wanna be sure these are linked directly to your social sites. Next up, we can click on add-ons, and there are a few features here that you can play around with and see if you'd like to add them. You can add quotes, uh, you can add a video if you would like, introducing your business with the video um, housed on YouTube. So I'll let you kind of just look around, play around, and make it people to schedule appointments, all sorts of things. So look at some of these and see if there's anything that you would like to include uh, to your um, auto signature here. Okay, so even though I have my social sites listed here, I added a couple of bigger buttons uh, that will take them to those places. Now I'm going to click Templates, again up here on the left, I'm going to click on Templates, and it shows you some layout options You have the, uh, that are the free version. So if it's, again, if it says Pro, those are going to be paid for versions. So this is the classic, this is horizontal, how it would look, so you see it's a little bit larger. So you can just kind of toggle back and forth and see what you think. Okay, once you have all the things in there that you're interested in, and again, with those add-ons, you can get quite a bit in here if you want, you can add on to it. Then you're ready to click, okay, you're done. Now, remember, this is the free version, so it will have this uh, branding for Y stamp at the very, very bottom, but most people won't pay much attention to that. So click, okay, I'm done. And then it says, how are you going to connect? With what email account are you connecting it with? And so if you want it connecting to your mobile devices, you'll have to upgrade. If, uh, if you don't upgrade, then it's only going to connect from a desktop version. Okay, so you can choose uh, which email account you want this to pair with. Okay, and since I'm using Gmail, I selected Gmail. I'll refresh my Gmail, and you can only select one uh, type of account. So if I had a Gmail and an Outlook 365, I would have to pick one or the other. Okay, refresh my Gmail, and it should be ready to go. 
Okay, you can see here I am ready to send an email. My first time logging in, I get this little pop-up box and it's going to tell me, let me just move this down so you can see, that uh, the little Y stamp feature is down here. So if I ever want to turn that off, I absolutely can just by clicking this, okay? So I would say, well, who am I going to send something to? I'll send it to my Yahoo email. Test email with Y stamp. Uh, greetings from Texas. All right, so you can see this is how this all looks. And see, this is the branding that I'm saying because you're using the free version, it's this part stays here. If you want to remove this, then it's going to prompt you to, um, to pay. So, all right, guys, and here is the email as it showed up in my uh, Yahoo email box to show you how it comes through. Greetings from Texas. Here is the signature, and you can see these are all clickable. You can see because it's a little hand, it's clickable so that people can now go directly to check out new stuff. So guys, that is Y Stamp. It is a great tool with your branding, um, including your face and your colors and all the things that you're interested in, including in that auto signature. So check it out, free tool, and it could be a really great way to uh, develop the professional side of your business. Good luck. Take care.